my name is Boris and I use reclaimed wood to create different items. This is my small workshop, as I call it, my small bubble, where I create and where I spend a lot of time. When I close this door behind me, uh, the time stops and I just feel very confident. Whatever I feel deep inside, I do have an ability to express through the wooden items I make and I think they reflect exactly what's hidden deep inside. My grandfather was a master, he was really, really skilled person. He used to make stuff with me when I was young, so I believe this is the triggering point of, of my woodworking skills. My dream would be to own a small piece of land somewhere really quiet and to build a small round hobbit house with a green roof using natural materials. I'm still chasing my dream and by creating these small wooden houses I manifest the real one on a daily basis. When I was a kid, when I was four, four and a half, um, the war started in the area where I lived and my family got stuck um, in it. We couldn't physically escape for a year. Then we finally managed to get out of the country because of random help from the relatives who offered help out of the nowhere. They were just ready to unite my parents again and help them to gather the family. So this was very, very important lesson that I've learned in my life, um, how important it is to help to somebody just because you can. And this is something I'm trying to project on the wood lives. I almost feel ashamed talking about this in front of my parents' generation, but reflecting back on my life, it really wasn't easy. I went through quite a lot of discrimination in the school because I was always different. And if you ask me now, 25, 30 years after, I wouldn't go back, I wouldn't change anything because all these small continuous lessons taught me how to be resilient in life and taught me how to build myself as a person and if i had to give advice to somebody it would definitely be to be very open-minded in life and take every opportunity Woodlives definitely stands for people, art and sustainability. I'm trying to, to create a small community of people to share positivity. Fulfilled, happy. It makes me feel that I belong, I engage with people and I help to people the best I can. It just makes me feel centered and useful to myself and other people and the community. And I still have 10 fingers, which means I'm doing a good job. <laughs> when you use old materials, there's something really inside of them. They have a soul and in a way they're really happy to be repurposed and become another product and um, make people feel them again and give them their attention. So yes, it's very good, I think. Sustainable. It's sustainable.